Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, episode 1, Tides of Fate, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode, we just got through the ice mines and defeated a Lamian Queen to get here, to Castle City Gatorun. Welcome to Gatorun, the largest city of Ativian. Welcome to Castle City Gatorun. I feel welcome already. Oh, weapon store. Don't mind if I do. We are prepared for an attack from Valdrace, yes. Though the question is, why is this all happening? I don't have the answers yet, but if I do, I'll probably never let you know. Okay, the weapons are not new. But at least getting a mid-ether is nice. You gotta stock up on this stuff, man. Mid-ethers don't come cheap. And neither do I. Oh, yeah! The Charvanians are a proud lot, though I think a bit misguided. While their shield keeps Valdres out, it also keeps the rest of the Empire out as well. Yeah, they really did not think that through. Okay, I got plenty of these. So I'm good to go. No new armor either. It seems a bit disappointing. That we're not getting any new equipment yet. But the music here sounds very nice and beautiful. I do not think even Valdrace will strike us here. We are well fortified. Gadron is the largest city in the whole empire. Though Shivane is the capital now, we used to be until the Empress relocated here. And I'm sure you guys recovered from that. Nice. Get a mid-potion. At least nobody will go cold if they go shopping. Because everything is indoors. It looks a little bit more convenient than it did in Alien, where the Merchant's Guild was like a bunch of cabins inside the castle. I mean, it was different, but not well designed at the same time. I mean, if I was uh, building a castle city, I would use up a little bit less resources. Everyone is so worried about Valdres. What about that damnable Al Antocalius? He nearly took over Ativian out from under the Emperor's feet. Tried to, but he failed, thankfully. Would you sp like a spot of tea while you are here? Well... Dark Gods! Magus, Drak, and Lee! Do we not have more important things to do? No thank you, milady. Damn, he just wanted some tea! With some people that are drinking beer! You are bereft of class, the lot of you! Now scat! Oh, really? Syria, please! Do not reward stupidity with the release of death! His punishment is the idiocy that exudes from him on a daily basis! Hmm. Wow, we actually didn't kill a jerk! I'm not liking this place already. We're doing something completely different. Sometimes it is better to exercise the better part of valor than to fight. I guess. Ah, let's go to the library. Why not? The volume is titled Gatorun, A History, and we're not reading it. The book is titled Kama Sutra after a glare from the latest the book is put back. Well, he might need some new experience. Okay, so what other funny books are we going to find? The book is titled Stop Reading the Bookcases because this is the last one. Ah! Book is titled, You Are Not Listening to Me, Are You? No More Titles! Go play the game! The book is titled, You Really Do Not Like Me Very Much, Do You? Because if you did, you would get out of this library and go on with the game! The book is titled, Alright, that's it. You deserve this! What the? What? Did you think it was game over or something? <laughs> you know, this game really does have a good sense of humor. That's extra points for me. Some of these books are downright odd. Yeah, you tell me. Did your vision go completely black when you read the 8th bookcase? But I really admire that they, you know, they tried to make you think you actually got a game over. Because some games, like Molmania, for example, actually did downright kill you if you did something repeatedly. That it wasn't even lethal at all. Just buy a few high potions. Some more ethers, be nice. Stock up with some crystal shards. 
Smelling salts be good as well. Ice cells and valent roots. Okay, I think we're good with shopping. I'll check out the treasury later, but first I'm gonna go to the inn. Actually, I'm just gonna check out these dressers first. And there was nothing! Worst inn in the entire world. But at least it still costs 100 coins. So that much I am appreciative of. An ambrosia. Uh, what, what do you want? I'm sleeping here! That looks very uncomfortable. The only reason I talked to you is because I was worried about your lumbar support. But okay, if you want to be crippled, that's fine with me! Okay, that's not really where I want to go. It's actually over here. Do not speak to me! I'm on duty! Yet you choose to speak to me instead! Can you not see I am on guard duty too? Sheesh, I tell ya! Again, another funny bit. Welcome to Gateron. I am Brian, regent of these lands. Regent Brian, I am Magus Draken Lee of the Kisareth Empire. I present to you Zeria Aaron Lee, also of Kisareth, Galena Dyrene Gray of Larcia, and Isis Lycoris Lee of Ilian. A pleasure to meet you, Regent. My lord, Brian! Hello, Brian. A pleasure to meet you all. Although I know you, Galena. You left Ativian because of that damn feline, Antokelius. Cannot say I blame you, really. Though you could have come to me first, Galena. I would have listened to you. Instead, you and the Empress are at odds with one another. Brian, just let it go, please. Maybe someday me and Eleanor will patch things up, for, though for right now, we need your help. Hm. <laughs> Alright, I will drop it. For now. What kind of help do you need? Where are you headed? We are heading towards Sirdrin. We are hoping the Regent there can help us find a way to head into Valdres without being overtly seen by their patrols. Hmm, I see. So you're heading to Charvena from here, yes? That's right. We will have to cross the waters to get to Sirdrin from Charvena. You will not be going anywhere near Charvena without my help. The Charvanians have erected an energy shield along their border to prevent an attack from Valdres. How do we get through then? You will need this medallion with you to cross the Charvanian border. Keep it with you at all times, and you will be able to cross through the shield without incident. Here, take it. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Brian. Indeed, my gratitude is given. Least I can do for you all. Help yourself to the treasure room as well. The password is Riley. Good luck. Okay, so this is one of those rare treasure rooms where you actually needed a password to get across, rather than just directly talk to the main guy, and then you're done. I'm gonna save here first. Why? Because let's see what happens if you get it wrong. You actually get to battle this guy! He does have one weakness which you can really take advantage of. Poison. And once you got him poisoned, just defend the rest of the way. Because your attacks will not do nearly enough damage to stop him. But since he has a lot of HP, he loses a lot of it because of poison. Remember, poison takes away a percentage of your health. Ah, 1979, a good Smashing pumpkin song. When are you gonna lose bullet with butterfly wings, wings HP? Or zero? No, don't lose zero, because that means the fight will go on forever! Okay, I'm definitely going to need to use another cure rate on Zyria. Ice is, is pretty much a sitting duck, because if she's healing all this time, she's not gonna be defending these attacks. Everyone else can take less damage. Actually, if I had everybody to defend, it'll be alright. Yes. We're not in any dire straits. Ooh, Magus might be, though. Just keep turtling, and eventually he'll kill himself. Remember, that high agility he has can be used against him as a result. Oh, crap. Well, Magus really needs some healing, but so does everyone else. Well, not Isis, but... I can't really select only three targets. And now he's dead.
So you get 1,200 experience out of that, which is nice, and 1,100 coins. And Ice has learned Curvera. And we get a Mega Potion. You always get a Mega Potion from this guy, and he doesn't even die! He's like, well, I took a lot of poison damage, but I'm miraculously healed. Because, you know, game logic, lol. Alright, Kivera is 40 MP, but it restores a great amount of HP for all allies. So this could be one of her best healing spells. That you might use a lot in Tough Binds. Now, you can pretty much get as many Mega Potions as you want from this guy, and battle this guy as many times as you want using the exact same strategy. But for LP purposes, let's just go on and take the treasure. Unfortunately, we don't get another chance for a Mega Potion against this guy, because he's gone! He just disappear into the Great Unknown. So, we get a nice bit of treasure here. And another Crystal Shard, awesome. So our destination, of course, is Charvena. But let's go back to the end, because we did take a nice bit of damage. As a result of this fight. So let's get out of here. So our stay in a gauge run was very short, mind you. But, you know, short enough. Remember, Charvena is the area with no snow. The Clarion Metal nullifies the energy field, allowing you to pass. Wait, that wasn't its name! I thought it was named the Charvanian Medallion. Or Charvana Medallion. Uh, I just have to get away from that threshold. Otherwise, we were going to be seeing that all day. Kind of surprised that ice spiders are still thriving in this area, because there's no ice at all. They're completely out of place. And now they're out of life. Okay, there's Charvena. Oh, come on, game! I was right there! Well, we might as well finish them off. I suppose. There, now they cease to exist. For now, at least. Oh, it gets its own music! That's different town music. So let's check out the arsenal, shall we? Okay, claymores are good, but remember, they're two-handed. Don't get them. No new armor, either. So this woman over here sells both weapons and armor. Rather than multiple sales people. Charvena is essential to the defense of Ativian, and that is why we erected the shield. Huh, <laughs> you said erect. That's funny. It's funny because I have juvenile sense of humor. Everybody does, really. I tried, really. Come on now. But it is refreshing to hear different music in, a diff in certain towns. If you wish to go to Sirdrin, you will want to speak with the Regent. She's located in a northwestern structure over the brook. Well, then I'll go there last, then. Meet Ether. Hey, butterflies! Hey, butterflies, what's up? I want to catch butterflies. So now I can use you in potions in Skyrim. Or for crafting in Skyward Sword. Yeah, butterflies, yeah, they're potions, right, right. Have you tried fishing yet? It is most relaxing. Oh, God! The stereotypical fishing element in RPGs. If it were not for Valdrace and the shield, this place would be a piece of the heavens. I'm not sure if you mean that in a good way or a bad way. But I guess you obviously meant it a bad way, as in completely destroyed. Rather than looking very beautiful and heavenly. But I mean, even with this shield, it does look beautiful. It seems a little out of place for Ativian due to the fact that there's no snow in that area. I suppose the shield has a lot to do with it, because if it keeps out enemies, it must also keep out the weather. That must be something else. The bad people cannot come here because of our shield! That's pretty cool. 
This must be where the Regent lives. So we're not going there yet. You cannot pass until you gain permission from the Regent. Well, then I'll just keep exploring then. Alright, let's move on. Anything in those logs? No. How can Charvena be like this when Ativian is all ice and snow, you ask? Very simple. A shield not only keeps enemies out, but the inclement weather as well. Oh, okay, so I was right. Then again, I was doing a... have my own file, like, down in slot 10 that I used to play ahead. So that I'll know what I'm dealing with when I LP this. Do you want to fish? If you catch any, bring them back to the item shop and they will reimburse you for your catch. Take my rod, and good luck. Do you need instructions? Eh, sure. To fish, you control the hook, and you must move the hook with the, your corresponding arrow keys to see if you can find and catch a fish. There are some areas in the water you cannot get to, so plan out your strategy. Good luck. Okay, so that red line is obviously your lure. You just use, like, any direction to move it around. Oh, I caught something! Oh, it's a boot. And they play this, like, fail music when you catch a boot. So you can practically do this as long as you want. Another boot, Magus! Can't you just leave the boots right next to you? So you don't catch the same ones? Seriously, now. As far as I'm concerned, there's no real strategy to this. Just have a lot of patience. Just move the lure around, see if you catch a fish, or god forbid, another boat. And they play this victory music whenever you catch a fish. It's like, oh my god, you know basic survival skills! Yes, to you! Then they're gonna play, like, more trumpet fanfare when you learn how to light a campfire by yourself. It's like, you can roast marshmallows! Da -da 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 Oh, you made a hot dog out of that, too! Da -da 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 Apparently, Megas' idea of pitching a tent is hanging out with Zeria and Galena and just getting it on. Wow, this is terrible! One fish, three boots! The Magus Lee story on how he sucks at fishing. One fish, three boots. <laughs> okay, two fish, three boots. Two fish, four boots! Okay, I quit! I really need to do this on my own time, so that I can actually catch better fish, or better yet, fish. The tombstone reads, Here lies Lena Bo... Boelto, killed when she attempted to use a teleportation spell, with disastrous results. Here lies Grace Ashley, killed by a man when she attempted to turn him into a woman. That never really goes well. The tombstone reads, Here lies Rachel Menton, she sacrificed herself in defense of Charavena during the Magus Wars. Magus? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, why they have to make the last tombstone serious? Usually the last ones are the funniest. So let's just go to the item shop. Oh, teddy bear! The teddy bear's terrorist pick. Okay, what you got that's special? Not really special. If anything, I could use some more Sycopia herbs. Or roots. Well, it doesn't really matter, because it just cures confusion, and I really needed more of those. Have any fish? Trade them here for items. Okay, one fish for a potion, ten fish for a mid ether. 15 fish for an Ambrosia, and one Selene fish, which of course is very rare, for a Power Vial. Unfortunately, if you have fish, you cannot really cancel out, so you had to select one option you know you don't have. That way you don't just get a potion by mistake if you really wanted a mid ether or an Ambrosia. Wait, wait, let's look at this again. 10 fish for a mid ether, but 15 fish for an Ambrosia? Okay, here's something that I don't get about that. 
Mid-ethers are 800, which requires 10 fish. Ambrosia is a 750, but require 15 fish. That's something that doesn't make sense to me. If anything, you're just better off getting Ambrosias here, rather than spend your fish for them. I would understand if it was the other way around, but it's not. Maybe that's one thing they just overlooked. No ships are headed to Sirigen or anywhere else at the moment. With a threat from Valdres, our region decided to ground our ships for now. Sucks. The butterflies you see are the reincarnated remnants of the Fae who died in these lands. Oh, the Fae. They're obviously mystical creatures, but we'll likely deal with them more later. Our shield protects us from any aggressions by Valdres. Hopefully it will hold out. Hey, if it can repel snow, I'm sure it can repel Valdres. Unless they got Charvina medallions as well, which would suck. My husband is out doing only the gods know what. Uh, can't you divulge a little bit, please, in case we look look for him? Doesn't seem like a side quest, though. So we'll just leave it be. Mid potions, awesome. God, how many Fae died here? Unfortunately, you can only fish in one spot. So that woman that gives you the rod, that's the only place you can fish. Hopefully, we'll find a Selene fish. And hopefully you can get more than one power vial. Because if you actually manage to pull that off, you're going to be in good graces. Okay, the region is here, so I'm going to save in case I get myself to a point of no return. I don't think I will, though. Welcome to Charavena! I am Selene Starshade, the regent here. May I have your names? I am Magus Draken Lee, Emperor of the Kisareth Empire. I am Syria Aaron Lee, Ambassador of Kisareth, and I am the Emperor's wife. I am Kalina Dyrene Gray, Mistress of Larsha, and my heart lies with Magus and Syria. Lady Starshade, I am Isis Lycoris Lee, Sovereign of the City State of Ilion, and Syria and Magus' daughter in law. A very unique team of warriors stands before me, then. Well met, all of you! May I ask what it is you request of me? Lady Starshade, we are heading to Sirdrin. However, we need a way to cross the sea to get there. We are ultimately heading for Valdres, my lady. It is there we seek to stop the spread of their militant ambitions. We need to get to Sirdrin first, though. Hmm, I see. Unfortunately, we have no ships to take you to Sirdrin at the moment. Though there is another way. Let me guess, it involves people eating monsters that breathe acid or something? Syria! Forgive my mother-in-law, she is... Eccentric. I don't really think eccentric, eccentric is the word. Hmm. <laughs> can you elaborate on that, Lady Starshade? Yes, I can! North of this house in town, there's a mouth of a cavern that leads to an underground series of caves. The path leads to Sirdrin. I caution you, though, the road is quite dangerous. We have little choice in the matter. We must proceed to Sirdrin. Agreed. Thank you, Regent. You have been very helpful. People eating monsters and spew acid? Here we come! Let us go, then. Farewell, Lady Starshade. Be well, and take care. I'm surprised Zyria didn't bitch about possibly drowning in the underwater caves. Oh, well. At least that's one less thing to worry about. There still will be some tough enemies, though. The Art of Greenery. The Fae are ancestors. Well, too bad you can't actually read these book books in your own time. Get an ether out of that, though, which is nice. Anytime you get free items is nice. Unless that item mysteriously kills you, which I don't think can happen. At least I hope not. Alright, let's press on! Okay, once again, I'm gonna save here in case we get to a point of no return. Because off camera, I would like to try to catch some more fish. You may proceed. I will. Okay, that's the underwater caves. We'll be going there later. That'll be for the next video. So I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, hopefully, I'll have like one or more power vials caught from catching Selena, Selene fish. See you, everybody.